hello friends welcome back to our channel so in our previous session we have discussed about uh, the complete html concepts and uh, at the time i just forgot to explain you one important and interesting concept that is map attribute use map attribute in image tag right so let, uh, let me recall that uh, how to display the image right so first I'll, I'll go with the tags basic tags so html and uh, see i'll go with the head and inside the head we'll write the title so i'll write the title as image map right so what is this image map image map means uh, simply creating the clickable areas in that particular image so here i have downloaded a few images so in that uh, see this is the image you can see the computer and here we can see the mouse keyboard uh, monitor and cpu so first we'll insert this image on a web page and if you click on this particular area the relevant information will be displayed on a separate page that means we have to create the link right hyperlink we have to create the link and uh, if you click on this particular area separate image will be displayed so here i have downloaded uh, four images the uh, cpu keyboard monitor and a mouse so i will display this particular image on the web page and if i click on this monitor i should get this monitor on a separate web page and if i click on this cpu area i need to uh, it should display the cpu and if i click on this keyboard it should display the keyboard and if i click on this mouse i need to get this image right so for this purpose we are going to use a map map attribute use map attribute right so let us check so in the body and see uh, first let uh, let us insert the image for that img src is equal to give the complete path of this image so here you can see this is path and uh, computer.png so this is a uh, computer.png sorry png right so this is the image and uh, i'll create that one in uh, image map folder so this is a image map dot html right now you can observe the image map dot html and if you open this one so it will display the complete image now i have to create the clickable areas that means how to create the hyperlinks in this particular image okay if for a particular area part so if you want to create the clickable areas first we need to get the coordinates right so for that just we have to use an attribute called use map use map is equal to and start this use map with a hash symbol and give some uh, name like a pc pc is the name i have given for the use map and in order to create the different uh, clickable areas use a uh, one more uh, uh, tab called uh, map okay map name is equal to pc and in this we have to create the area and here we can create the area in terms of different shapes so we can represent a square we can represent a circle we can represent any polygon so we know that a polygon means any closed surface without any curves we call it as a polygon so we'll say one by one so let us take this one let us take this one so first i just want to take a monitor okay i just want to create a monitor so i want to set the monitor from this portion to this portion see if i click anywhere okay if i click anywhere so i need to get the separate information about this monitor okay so for that so you can see this is a not as a polygon uh, sorry not a square not a circle so it is a polygon we, we are having a different uh, closed surface okay so we'll see area the attribute is a shape 
is equal to i'll go with the polygon so poly and we need to give the coordinates so cords is equal to so you need to give the coordinates from starting from here right and uh, you need to cover all the coordinates of this one and you have to end at, at this particular coordinate so in order to find the coordinates just open the image so uh, watching here and uh, deciding the coordinates is somewhat different right difficult so for that purpose just go open this image with the paint and here if you move the pointer you can observe here in this uh, status bar you can observe the coordinates see 322 15 pixel 12 pixel 9 pixel like that so he, from here you can simply use the coordinate so i have to start from here so the coordinate is 2061 so give the coordinates there so 206 comma 1 sorry 1 and from the here from this up to this position so what is this position 663 3 663 comma 3 so write down all the coordinates right all the borders so then up to here up to here right so 665 314 665 314 665 314 and then here right at this position you can see uh, 467 318 467 318 right we need to give all the coordinates right see uh, uh let us take uh, here up to here so this is the 490 379 uh, 490 379 and uh, see this is a uh, one more position so 525 379 525 379 and cover all the coordinates right so this one uh, 538 403 538 403 and at the end here right 331 402 331 402 and again this coordinate so what is this one uh, see here you can observe 341 378 341 378 the x coordinates y coordinates and up to here so this is 375 378 375 378 and again up to here so this is 398 316 398 316 and and this position so 203 313 203 313 and again this one so this is the starting position right so you can give the starting position 206 comma 1 and one thing this is not a mandatory to give the last coordinate so if you are not giving this last coordinate it will be taking as a uh, by default it will consider it as a last coordinate first coordinate right so here you can observe the polygon means a closer surface without any curvature so whenever we are using the coordinates when we get the closer surface the first coordinate and the last coordinate should be same so it is not mandatory to specify the last coordinate right so if you are not specifying the last coordinate by default it will be considered as a first coordinate and uh, this is a chord coordinates and give the h reference number so i'll use some uh, monitor dot png monitor dot png right i'll close the map here i'll close the map here so let us save this one and uh, see uh, let us refresh this one and see you can observe so see here we are not give, getting any links here we are not getting any links right we are not getting any links only whatever the coordinates we have given if the mouse pointer moves to that particular coordinates then immediately the link will be enabled see the cursor has been changed you can observe so this is the first coordinate we have given so beyond this one there is no link and whenever the mouse pointer meets this one so it start linking right so we have given everything so in the monitor every every coordinate which we have given so that will be considered as a this one right now i have to create one more uh, page see i will create one more page Here I'll, I'll display the image of a monitor and I'll save the file with the monitor.png. 
so img src is equal to so monitor dot png right so i have given this one and uh, let us give the alternate text alternate text as a monitor right so i'll save this one uh, yes so monitor monitor dot html see now you can observe i'll refresh this one and if you press this area so we'll get that particular image right monitor dot image you can observe see we have created so monitor dot html which displays the monitor right which displays the monitor and whenever i am using this one so i am getting the image here i am getting the image displayed here right see sorry here uh, i have given directly the image i will go with the html right now you can observe so so this is the image whenever i click on monitor so monitor image will be displayed here and we can write out any de description about this particular one so that means in the complete image we are creating the clickable areas so before writing the map before writing this map see before writing this use map so this is the only image but now it is a image with a hyperlinks image with the links right so like that we can create and separate link for a cpu to display the cpu to display the keyboard to display the uh, mouse so here you can see this is the cpu right this is a cpu now the same way you can apply the same thing so i will go with the area and uh, shape is equal to here let us take a rectangle okay rectangle and here we need to give the coordinates of diagonal L coordinates right that that means this coordinates of this position and coordinates of this position automatically it forms a rectangle so but in, in terms of polygon it's not like that we have to go with all the coordinates of the border right so here we are giving the only the rectangle shape so just to use the coordinates the starting coordinate and the diagonal coordinate so automatically it forms a rectangle so in order to find out the coordinates go to the paint so this position what is this position here you can observe in the status bar 1 comma 24 so give the coordinates as 1 comma 24 and the diagonal coordinates go with the diagonal coordinate here so what is the diagonal coordinate you can observe 171 433 171 433 so and uh, reference so whenever we click on that particular thing what uh, thing we have to get it so i'll go with a cpu dot png right so i'll save this one and you can observe so previously there is no link for this particular area if you refresh this one and if you see there is a link you can observe there is a link only on this particular area so because we have given the area coordinates as this one diagonal coordinates right so automatically this will give the complete area as a clickable area so if you click on this one so we need to get some cpu dot html or cpu dot png directly the cpu dot png means directly the image will be displayed okay so let us take the thing See, I'll go with the monitor.html. I'll, I'll open with a notepad and I'll save this same file with a, uh, another name called uh, cpu.html and see cpu.html. And here we need to give the CPU and uh, here also the alternate text. If any, if any, for any reason, if the image is unable to load, so automatically this alternate text will be displayed so you can observe the cpu.html where the cpu is displayed here right so now you can observe if i click on this one cpu image will be displayed if i click on this one the monitor image will be displayed similarly we can create the same thing for both the keyboard and a mouse see i'll uh, let us take for the mouse so I'll create uh, the same thing for a mouse, right? So here you can observe the shape of this mouse is in a circular way, right? It's not a square or it's not a rectangle. If you give the square, 
or I mean if you give any rectangle or any polygon so out of the mouse area will also be converted into clickable right so for example let us check let us take the rectangle let us take the coordinates and check the coordinates of this one so if you consider this one right so let us take this one so this is a 705 459 so 705 459 705 and 459 and what is this last one so this this coordinate diagonal coordinate we need to check so let us take this as a co diagonal coordinate 799 470 so 799 and 470 so it will work no problem right it will work so nothing problem will be there but see you can observe so uh, also we have to create that uh, mouse dot html so let us open this one notepad so i'll save save as with a mouse dot html save so mouse dot html and here uh, you have to use a mouse dot png and again the alternate text we need to display i am displaying the mouse dot uh, i mean mouse so here you can observe see if you refresh so initially there is no link in this particular area if you refresh so you can see see so only one place so this the, the the area is not accurate because we have created the rectangle right we have taken the rectangle so from this part to this part so that means a slight uh, thin rectangle is created right so in such type of things we can go with a radius i mean we, we can go with a circle so instead of rectangle we can uh, create the clickable area by using the circle function circle option right so circle and here the coordinates will be the center coordinate and the radius center coordinate and the radius so see this is the center coordinate right 756 459 756 459 and give the radius how much radius so in order to get the radius you can observe this is a circle and see uh, you can observe see this is 466 right 466 that means around uh, 7 the radius if you give the 7 as a radius you can observe see sorry mouse dot html shape is equal to circle quads 7 756 and See here 756 is the circuit, center point we have taken 459 and from that and we have taken it as see 756 and uh, this location you can see 797 right 797 797 means uh, around uh, 41 let us create the thing so just a moment so 756 this one is a 756 and 459 and uh, you can observe I, I just want to take the radius from here this side to this side so this is a circle i just want to take so 488 you can observe here so in the bottom you can observe 755 and 488 so 755 and 488 488 means you can see the difference 459 and 488 that is uh, i think it's 29 right 29 if you take this coordinate as a 29 let us uh, check whether it will be implemented or not no actually not done so let us uh, take the quads in the quotations i think it might be a problem so area shape is equal to circle yeah oh. spelling mistake circle right now it will be considered right so you can observe now here see so in that particular circular area we'll get the clickable part right if you click on this one so we need to get the mouse dot html so which we have not created i think so uh have we created yes we have done but i think uh, 
mos.jpg but we have given as a png so that's why yes see the image is not being displayed now you can observe see mouse yes perfect and if you click on this mouse we will get a mouse image and the same thing we will do for the keyboard also so let us open this one and uh, for the keyboard also we can use a rectangle yes yes so we can give the rectangle and uh, change the coordinates and what is the coordinates for sir, this one so you can observe this is a starting position so 198 428 so 198 comma 428 and uh, the next one is we need to give the diagonal coordinates right i will give this one okay i will give this one 676 513 676 and 513 so you can use a uh, double quotations or you may not use the double quotations no issue about that so and here uh, in instead of cpu i'll go with the keyboard dot html so we need to create a keyboard dot html before executing this one so let us open this one and uh, yes so save this file as keyboard.html and see here you need to change it as a keyboard.png it's not a jpg make sure the extensions perfectly so if it is a jpg or jpeg or png or gif whatever it may be right make sure of the extension so otherwise it will not be displayed on the web page right so keyboard so we have created that one and see now i'll refresh and you can observe see the keyboard so click on this keyboard so we'll get the image displayed the keyboard image is displayed on the screen so like that so initially the image is not having any clickable areas right this image is doesn't have the clickable areas but if you are using the name called use map the attribute use map so which creates the clickable areas of on the image so in order to represent the area we have we are supposed to give the coordinates right so here we can represent the area in three ways polygons rectangle and circle so if it is a circle the coordinate center coordinates along with the radius and if it is a rectangle starting co starting coordinate and the diagonal coordinate and if it is a polygon you need to give all the coordinates which uh, covers the polygon right which covers the complete shape right so and the one more uh, thing is h reference so which gives the target so what should be executed once you click on that particular area so for that we are giving the use map inside the use map we are using the map tag and inside the map tag we are using the area to fix the area okay to uh, make the area clickable right so after executing this one see our complete image is with a clickable areas so this is one this is one this is one and this is one right so this is the most important and very interesting so i uh, hope you understood uh, this uh, map use map attribute of uh, image tag right so try it and if you are having any difficulty feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much